Oh my word. I just, I, I, okay. I felt that. He's just gonna take it home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was- There bonded. we go, oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Again, this golf club is doing exactly what this golf club is designed to do. I love it when golf clubs yeah, are right? supposed to do. <laughs> Today we've got new Callaway Paradigm Fairy Woods. We've got the standard, we've got the X, and we've got the triple diamond. And I've got Kevin Kraft to come in and hit some shots and give his insight. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, give this video a like. Tell us in the comments what you think of the new Paradigm Fairy Woods. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter at Second Swing Columbia. Uh, flying into the Twin Cities to help us with our reviews of the new Callaway Paradigm Fairy Woods. Um, Kevin, you've got one in your hand. It looks like a triple diamond. Yep. But you take a look at these clubs at your first glance. Um, what what do you see? What do you think we're going to see in testing as well? So, you know, I look down and I see a Callaway Fairway Wood. Yeah. Um, That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it looks like a Callaway Fairway Wood. Yeah. They, they've got a really great shape. I think it's a very classic looking shape. Yeah. Um, we're seeing a lot of carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is yeah. which is mm -hmm. nice, exciting. Uh, means that they've, they've been able to move some weight around, yeah. make these things even you know, even a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we got th three distinct models here. Uh, they're all designed kind of for for different golfers, right. and so we can cover pretty much what right. anybody needs. That's that's the nice thing about Cali with these fairways. I mean, you've got the really skilled high speed player. You've got the X maybe for the opposite end of the spectrum. Yep. Uh, but in terms of the tech, I think the fun one is is jailbreak because they've mm -hmm. they started it with just the driver and JBB Epic long ago, two bars, and it's changed to velocity blades or whatever different version mm -hmm. in the last few years. In the Fairy Woods this year, they're calling it Batwing technology. Uh, interesting design there, but they've obviously modified it to go from the driver to a, a Fairy Wood that, yep. in that smaller kind of frame there to you know maximize that ball speed in addition sure. to the AI that they've got on the face. They've pushed that, they've pushed that frame out now. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing, you know, a little bit wider kind of sweet spot right. where we're going to really see the, the ball jump off the yeah. face. Yeah. Uh, and that's just a good thing for everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. I know you've been, you've talked a lot about how really explosive Callaway Fairy Woods yes. are. And for them to year over year really just continue to push the envelope there. Uh, that That's definitely something. And another part of that too is that face cup, mm -hmm. that pop. Yeah. off the face so yep. it's to kind of be that that face cup whether it is irons or fairways or i guess now at the driver now the driver yep paradigm. absolutely so a yeah. uh, bunch of explosiveness there we have to talk about each model here a little bit in terms of what's offered the paradigm model so that's the standard one um gonna probably fit the widest range of yep. golfers we'll talk about that a little bit later but there's a lot of loss offered so 15 16 and a half 18 21 24 27 and 30. It's a lot, and I think is. I think you are as a fitter probably pretty excited about that. Yes, absolutely. Um, the more we can do with with players, the better. Yeah. Um, especially when you get into some of the some of the slower swings, right? Trajectory is a, right. a big issue. Mm -hmm. So a fairway wood that's got more loft is going to be typically a little bit better launching. Yeah. We can get a little better ball speed. We can cover those gaps better with, with right. a higher lofted fairway wood. Right, right. And and the Paradigm X, it's similar that it's designed maybe a little bit more launch and forgiveness, maybe even a little, a little bit more draw bias. bias. Yep. Uh, but 15, 16 and a half, 18 and 21 there. Mm -hmm. So we actually have the seven wood for testing today. Uh, nice. So that'll be fun to hit. And then the triple diamond uh, kind of follows the cadence of the driver, a little bit low spin. Mm -hmm. uh, that one's 13 and a half, 15 and 18. So I think, I know you were hoping that we had the three plus 13 and a half today, but we unfortunately do not. It's okay. I'm part of that specific group that needs that driver replacement, you yeah. know, on, on certain holes. Yeah. Uh, I like to hit fairway wood off the tee a lot. Mm -hmm. So having a club that doesn't cost me, you know, 40 yards, but right. I lose 20, 25 yards yeah. compared to the driver, right. that's a good one for me. Right. So I know that, that the, the player in that window that, such as yourself, is going to be really excited about that offering, but then also 15, 18 degrees still yep. in that kind of low spin head should be appealing to a lot of players. Absolutely. So we've got three models. We've got Trackman up and running. Let's see some bombs. All right, let's do it. All right, so that's the seven wood Paradigm yep. X. Yep. Uh, tell me what you see when you put that down by by the golf ball there. So the first thing I see putting the putting the club down is that even though this is the X and it's designed to have a little more draw bias, yeah. it doesn't look 
particularly shut. shut. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, for most golfers don't really, I don't think anyway, most golfers want to see something that looks like it's, you know, right. it's yeah, just yeah. totally shut down. So from, from, you know, over the ball, you're looking at a golf club that looks very square. Yeah. And all the help that we're getting is is behind the scenes, sure. which I think is great. That's good. I mean, there, there's that's always a concern of a draw bias club. Is it is it does it look like it's pull you know pointing straight? Exactly. Line, you know? Exactly. Well, a golf club looks like a golf club. Yeah. Right. So. Um, Compared to the driver, the uh, little bit less carbon fiber on the crown, so we've got a little bit more of the uh, of the metal frame here. Yeah. Uh, we do have the Chev logo for for alignment. Yeah. Um, the X and the regular paradigm have a little shallower face. That yep. ball is designed. You know, that's designed right. to help, help get that a, ball, get the ball up. Yep. A little more weight below um, the ball versus. Yes, the, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, for seven wood. Seven Woods become very, very popular, and, yeah. and for good reason. Anytime we're hitting a golf club that is going to be coming into the greens, we want to have right. good stopping power yep. along with it, right? doesn't do us any good if we send it screaming in there and it, it, it can't stop. Right. I don't know about you, but every time I'm over the green, over is bad. Right. Uh, so, you know, Seven Woods become very, very popular. And if you look at the PGA Tour, you look at when yeah. they play the U.S. Open, oh, yeah. or they want something that they can get out of the rough, where they can get out of the fairway or maybe potentially even out of a bad lie in the yep. fairway and still be able to make the ball stop. Yep. Especially so, when they firm out those greens, like you need yeah. something that's gonna- Gotta have something you know, that's gonna stop. Like right. we're, we're probably not gonna create massive amounts of spin with a fairway wood, right? Yeah. So how are we gonna stop the ball? It's gotta be through trajectory. Gotta be, yep, yep. exactly, exactly. All right, let's see a few swings. All right, let's see what a seven wood will do for us here. That felt a little healy. And a little shut. Okay, cool. Oh, that one was nuked. Oh, there's some spin. <laughs> I have, yes, I have, uh, I've made up for so, that last one. Now, this is a, you know, I think more or less a regular flex shaft based on yeah, I mean, it's it's hazardous it's silver. A, it's so. a rig, but that's okay. So, yeah. probably not quite the fit for you. However, clearly some launch and spin to be had with this club. Yes, absolutely. Um, Smash Factor indicates that I didn't hit that one quite solid, but it felt really good. Yeah. Um, Part of that probably launch or the, the loft too, being at 20, sure, 21 sure. degrees. Um, I'm pleased to see a, a negative attack angle on the fairway wood. That's, that's, that's kind of good. It. I've been called out on that kind of thing every now and then. <laughs> um, carry at 205, that's not far off from what I would expect uh, really to see from, from you know, this right. particular yeah, golf Yeah, you know, only one so. foot off the center line, so, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. I mean, my... The hybrid that I typically carry is 21, four, my four hybrid is 21 degrees. Okay. And 205 is a, a fine number, number there, so yeah. yeah, no issues. That's gotta be going left. It is. And that's, you think that one was, well, A, this is a draw bias club. B, yeah. you got a shaft that is a little bit whippier than you're used to, so. Club path still coming kind of hard from the inside today. Face angle got closed. Yeah. That's uh, that's the the makings of a ball going left. That was a good one. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Some speed on that one too. Look at that one. Two two eighteen carry. There's that you, you talked about smash in the last one. One four five there. Yeah, that's that's so, definitely better. Definitely yeah. better. This feels fantastic. Yeah. It's a really good feeling club. The auditory response is really good too. It's got, it's got a really good sound about it. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tell when you really catch it. Right. That's good. That's always the feedback. I mean, golfers are looking for that. I mean, yes, absolutely. They want to feel rewarded when they hit one good, you know? Exactly. Oh, nuked that one. Look at that. It's ball speed picking up. Yep. Wow. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Wow. 225 off seven wood at 133 feet in the air. That's pretty good. That's nine, pretty good. Within nine yards on the stopping power. 133 feet. You're two feet away. He's just going to take it home. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I mean, I could absolutely throw this into, into do you the want, bag. Do we need to hit another one? Are, are no, we, good? we don't need yeah? it. Okay. I mean, that, if that's what it's going to do, yeah, we're good. All right, like, all right, I, all right. I now know what this golf club does. That was awesome. Okay. That okay. was really We're good. We're done. We're done with that club. Paradigm yeah. X. Pretty good. Pretty yes. good testing. Very nice. Uh, we'll go to Paradigm <laughs> here then. <laughs> that was, that's, that's amazing. A, I mean, that was really that's good. About the perfect golf shot. Yeah. I mean, I guess in theory that the hole is 
out there 234 yards away or two feet away. So a lot of a lot of hype to live up to here for the the paradigm model. Yeah, no kidding. That was, I, I'll tell you what, that, that's pretty happy making right there. <laughs> that th they feel fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm I curious mean, here too. It feels with, like with, a Callaway fairway. as we move into a different models if the sound and feel do change. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does that one look different? I mean, it's obviously it's a three wood versus a seven wood, so it's going to be larger. But shape wise, anything different? Not terribly, no. Okay. Um, it it looks just like a slightly bigger, slightly less lofted version of what yeah. we were just okay. hitting. Um, it's kind of what they should be going for, right? Make yeah. it. Big difference here, though. The seven wood was a bonded head, so yeah. no adjustability. Uh, thank you, Callaway, for bringing back adjustable fairway woods. Yeah. Um, as a fitter, I, I just I like being able to tune these things so much, and, yeah. and for my own game, I like being able to tune them. So uh, I was super happy to see that when they launched the, the info on Paradigm that we were going to be able to have right. adjustability mm -hmm. to it again. I just think that adds an extra dimension to the yep. golf clubs. And yep. uh, it is so. something. I mean, there's so many of my own friends that they have adjustable drivers or fairy woods or hybrids or whatever it is. They don't even touch it and. And that's fine, it right? Is, I mean, look, the idea is come in, get fit, and then leave it alone, right? There's there's a lot of tinkerers <laughs> out there, yeah. and, and sometimes golf clubs are a tinkerer's nightmare. Yeah. If you're not exactly sure what you're doing and what you're trying to create, and you start making adjustments, especially with a club that's got like a sliding weight to it, who knows what you're going to end up with, right? right? It could be it could end up with with things that are completely opposite. Or what you're, what yeah, you're actually trying to do. So, yeah. uh, so work with a fitter, right? It yeah. makes, makes sense. Uh, we got lots of very knowledgeable, oh, very helpful fitters yeah. in this company, yeah. right? And uh, and we're all here to help you. So, um, but yeah, this looks this looks great. Uh, it's what I've pretty much come to expect from Callaway uh, in terms of their in terms of their fairway woods. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've they've gone you know, off the rails on any of this design. I love the new color scheme. Right. Um, it just, I, I, I'm just excited yeah. to hit it. Yeah. I'm just excited to hit it. Nothing's stopping you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I, I just, I, I, okay. I felt that. <laughs> as you hit. Was it was it the rush of wind as it, it went was, by at 104 like, miles an hour? It just was. I mean, that's a pretty that's darn pretty, good. That's swing. pretty good club head speed for me. I mean, I'm an pretty old good. guy, so you know. Uh, 243 carry, 259. That's pretty good. 103 feet in the air. Yeah. Uh, landing angle 42.7. Okay, not bad with a fairway wood. Mm -hmm. That felt felt great. Felt very much like the seven iron. Had that little bit of auditory response, a little, yeah. high, a little tiny bit of higher pitch when you catch it right. pretty much just right the right the way. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Wow, so spin went down a little bit there. It did. Was that uh, on the toe a little bit or was that, was that, I'm asking because I, you know, I mean that one went 282. I feel like that might have come off a little higher on the face higher. than the first okay. one. Uh, driving that spin down a oh, little bit. Ah, we didn't, it ah, up, we didn't so. get it that time. Okay, that would make sense. <laughs> but so you know, uh, <laughs> that's a that's a pretty long fairway wood off the deck. Yeah, that is. That's fun. <laughs> I like that kind of thing. Interesting. I see the ball speed and the smash dropped a little bit there. Spin dropped again. Mm-hmm. See We're if we can some. Some total distance out of these. I mean, the, the total number is pretty darn high. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Trajectory is still getting up there. So the the design of the golf club is doing exactly what it we, what it's supposed to do. Yeah. A little shallower face designed mm -hmm. to still get it up there, even though, you know, it wasn't my best strike there. Maybe um, the carry. ball still got up 95 you, feet in the air. Still got still got a good yards. carry. Yeah, right? 252 yeah. yard carry. Yeah. You get, you know, a softer course, that thing, if you're trying to go for a green, let's say you got to carry 250, on a softer course for the green, it might be more receptive than that, and you might be fine. Sure, absolutely. I mean, ideally, it's almost maybe a little here. steeper landing angle would be yeah. helpful there, but overall, look, we're hitting a fairway wood. Yeah. Um, we shouldn't necessarily expect, you know, in a three wood anyway, to be hitting, you yeah. know, really, really high right. shots. This really does feel very, very good. Shaft feels good in it, too. New hazard is silver. Wow. 
pulled that a little bit. Yep. Yeah. It's not like, I mean, it's left, but it's yeah. not crazy left. I think you'll find that one came off the heel a little bit. It certainly felt like it came Hopefully off the heel a little bit. Yep. yep. There we go. So that would make sense. Because My... that spin went back up a little bit more. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Well, it's pretty good. It is pretty Paradigm, good. Paradigm's pretty explosive there. Yeah. Feels really pretty amazing. Um, for well, me, it ended up being relatively low spinning, yeah. uh, which is fine as long as we're getting decent trajectory. Decent height and trajectory. Uh, and I think, I mean, you were clear and I think you cleared 100 feet a couple times. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, 103 there, up in the high yeah. or mid 90s. Yeah. That's plenty of, of height. I mean, there. for me, that's what I'm, that's the kind of yeah. number I'm, I'm looking for. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, we had, that, was, that was four really good ones. That's, why don't we do triple diamond? Yeah, sure. Okay. So now you got that one. Yep. Um, yeah, I know that logo's not there. Correct. On the, uh, kind of on that crown. There, Again, but. they took the chev out. Again, they just assume uh, that we know what we're right. supposed to Size be doing. Size wise, here. different um, from the paradigm. It it is. It's a little bit, a little more compact. Yeah. And you can actually see from the top that the face is a little bit thicker, right? Okay. So triple diamonds designed for a little lower launch, a little lower spin, deeper so the face, deeper the lower face, the launch yeah. we're typically going to see. So. Um, you know, it's a very, again, it's a very clean looking head. Uh, I like the little bit more compact. There's a lot of players out there that do like the little bit more compact look. Um, shaping's, shaping's really, really good. Yep. Um, you know, it's still, yep. still looks like a Callaway fairway wood. Right. So my expectation is gonna feel and perform like a uh, Callaway fairway wood. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, so a little more spin that time. Yeah. Might have been just a little bit toward the heel, mm -hmm. maybe. Didn't pick it up. It's a mystery. It is. <laughs> I'm gonna say it was just slightly to the heel. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll trust your feeling. Smash was down a little bit, so that would indicate didn't quite right. get it dead solid perfect. But uh, I mean that 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 flight is pretty, you know. Yeah. No, I mean a little draw up the up the side there. That's that's great. I can live with that. And I can also live with three three thousand RPM. You yeah. know, we don't necessarily have to chase super low right. spin on a fairway wood. If you're trying to hit a controlled, you know, hit it two sixty off the tee. Yeah. Two seventy off the tee, whatever it is. Yeah, sure. Three thousand spin is a good thing. It is. Yeah, that was hit a little better. Wow. I like that one. Interesting. Okay. We're seeing that spin stay up. Yes. That is. That I'm curious about that. Like I thought, I hit that one. Pretty good. Felt pretty good. Hmm. Attack angle. All right. So potentially there, attack angle being a little yeah, bit steeper, a little steeper. Get a little make bit it, more spin. Makes sense. I don't. I think you were closer to neutral with the. Yeah. The paradigm, yeah. And I so. usually tend to be a little bit more. Yeah. More neutral. So. I mean, look at that. You're getting plenty of height. Yeah, and again, this golf club is doing exactly what this golf club is designed to do. It is supposed right. to be a little more anti-left yep. biased. So mm -hmm. um, we're seeing that play out just exactly as we right. should. Mm -hmm. you know, I love it when golf clubs yeah, do what right? they're supposed to do. <laughs> you know, at least if I can make it do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Some of it does fall on us as, <laughs> as flawed humans. It's not you, it's your clubs. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh, that was there. Pounded. We go. That was pounded. There we go. Look at that. Pounded. Again, still, still with the That's, spin though. I'm. That is fascinating. It so really is. I'm gonna just bring up each shot here because we've got the first one was the one that actually turned over a little bit. Yep. Right. Yep. Then you've got the rest of them at 33, 34, 35, 36. I mean, interesting. It is interesting because be. I mean, we're on average sub 3,000 with the paradigm. Yeah. I know we had, I mean, you had the one over here that was, you know, you have 3,800, you have 31, yeah. then a couple of went underneath that kind of dope left. But so um, from, from a fitter standpoint, I like the consistency of this, yeah. right? Though numbers wise, I'm six yards longer with the, with the regular paradigm. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's one of those where we can kind of yeah. get the, get that, Players' input and what right. are they like? What are they? What are they what chasing are they, for? Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, because exactly. I, I know it's it's weird. I I, I wonder and again. I mean, depends on the swing because it's you know 
the triple diamond is supposed to be that low launching, low spinner. Yeah, Kylie's supposed to be yeah. a little lower launching, lower spinning than the, yeah. than the hazardous. Then so the, we've got a golf club here that's technically supposed to be really low spinning. Yeah, it is. It is giving more. you the right the right side. So I guess it is. Yes, there's there is that. Know, also, distant. Look at that. Very consistent. Look at that. Play, so that's that's tremendous. You want so. something you can count on. Yeah, there you there go. go. There yeah. you go. So, all right. Well, let's let's wrap this thing up. Okay. Should we? Final yeah. thoughts. Let's do it. All right. All right, Kevin. Testing complete on the Paradigm Fairy Woods. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a lot of fun to watch because I think we started with that seven wood and we got some really high launch and high spin, which was yep. what you want. And you kind sure. of also talked about how important seven woods are now in golf bags. Definitely. And then the three woods, and we. We saw some things we expected and some things we didn't expect. And so yeah. why don't we, let's start with the Paradigm X. Okay. We'll start with that one. You hit that yep. one first. We had the seven wood. Uh, maybe talk about the golfers that after hitting it and what we've <laughs> learned about it, the type of golfers that'll play a Paradigm X fairy wood. So Paradigm X designed to get the ball up very quickly. Yeah. Um, the seven wood certainly did that. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of, a little more of a, a, a left side bias to sure. it, but it didn't seem to be you know, overly so, right? Yeah. Not all the shots were, were, were turning left. Yeah. So it's designed to help make it a little bit easier. Yeah. Obviously the golf club's not gonna swing itself, Yeah. but you know, yeah. if it can help us achieve yeah. what we want, then right. then we're, you know, right. we're in good shape. That's definitely what the Paradigm X clubs in general are designed for. Correct. They're, they're gonna be the clubs that help give you some performance. Yes. Whereas some of these other ones, the triple diamond ones, yeah. the golfer maybe provides that, that performance a little bit right. better. But uh, Paradigm now, the standard Paradigm model, hit that one and hit some blistered shots out there. I think you it, were a couple it, of them, 280 maybe? Was a really one. good performer yeah. off the deck, let me tell you. Yeah, um, so talk about that one. And, and I know it's kind of maybe the widest range of players, but yeah. in the fitting bay, Paradigm. Yeah. So for the, most of the players, you know, the nice thing with you know, with Paradigm up in the, you know, down, sorry, down in the lower lofts, we, yeah. ha we have this adjustability, yeah. right? So uh, that's one of the most exciting things to me is that Cowboys brought that back to us this yes. year. Uh, so from a fitter standpoint, it just gives me so many more options. Yeah. Um, you know, guy wants a three wood, but, you know, needs that little bit of, of, of help and trajectory. We can, you know, we can take it to 16 degrees yeah. uh, without having to go to, to a, a model that's designed to go yeah. left, right? Yeah. So, so that's very helpful. Um, it's it's a typical Callaway fairway wood product. Yeah, looks great, feels great, sounds great, and the numbers are, yeah. are fantastic. Mm -hmm. They've been making really good fairway woods for, for a, while. a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yes. they've been uh, a leader. I know in the fitting base at this store in particular, Callaway yeah. for years. So yeah. um, that probably won't change with Paradigm. I imagine. I so. wouldn't imagine, especially with the adjustability. Now. Yeah, it right. just it just really does mm -hmm. help that mm -hmm. much. Yeah. And then the triple diamond we got to talk about. Yep. Yep. In the testing, we did see actually more spin than we anticipated. So yeah, um, but very, very consistent club. So the player very. that demands consistency and wants that control, they're probably going to get it out of the triple diamond. Here. Yeah, I mean, in, in some ways it did exactly what we expected. It, yeah. it brought a little more of the right side yeah. uh, into play, which is what triple diamonds really designed to do. Um, I was a little surprised that the spin rate was about 350 yeah. RPM higher. Yeah. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Um, having a little bit more spin and mm -hmm. having it stay very consistent is going to give us a more consistent carry number, right. cons consistent finish number. So, um, you know, individual results may vary. Yeah. Right. Everybody's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Everybody's experience is going to be different. Uh, what you like looking at is going to be different. So, you know, come in, test these things out. Let's yeah. let's see what you like and let's see what kind of numbers we can get for I it. I like that. I like that. It's kind of a good way to wrap it up is the individual, individual results may vary. And to see those results, you stop in a second swing and get fit in the tour van with someone like Kevin. You hit the fairy woods for yourself. Figure out which of these models is right for your bag and to help you hit the best fairway sh wood shots and shoot the best score. So Kevin, thanks for coming in today, hitting the shots and giving your insight. I know it's, uh, it's a good one and Callaway yeah. did really well again. They certainly have.